Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This is a set based on games and tournaments. It says that there are eight teams that participated in a hockey tournament and they played exactly once against each other. Before the start of the tournament, these teams were ranked 1 to 8. And an interesting observation was made that in the tournament, each team won one match less than the numerical value of their rank. For example, team ranked one, 4 will win 3 matches, team ranked 5 will win 4 matches, team ranked 2 will win 1 match, etc. The table below has partial information about the results. None of the matches ended in a tie. So each match is a win-loss match. And it is given that, uh, like how it, how it needs to be read, like Argentina won a match against Australia and India. So we need to uh, read wins in this way, win or loss, we need to uh, read in this direction. Okay. Now, uh, we are given a couple of more information that Belgium was ranked two before the tournament. So let us write the rank here. And uh, Spain was not among the top three teams before the tournament. So we will write rank this side and let's write the number of wins this side. Okay. Now, we know that a team who is rank and win, if we say, so a team rank one will have zero wins, two will have one wins, three will win, have two wins and so on. The team rank eight shall have seven wins. So we need to determine the ranks and wins. Now, if you see this table closely, Argentina has won a match, Australia has won a match, Belgium has also won, England has not won any match. Apart from England, all other teams have won at least one match. So that means England was rank one and their wins are zero. Okay, so one of the questions is which team was ranked one before the tournament. So we can easily say that that is England. Now, England will lose all their matches. Now, this table uh, is like a sort of transpose. So, if let us say England loses all the matches, all team will win their match against England. So, Argentina will win their match against England. Australia will win their match against England. Germany will win the match against England. India and Netherlands all will win their matches against England. So, this is how we can fill it. Now, second thing is, Belgium was ranked 2. That means they have one win in the tournament and if we look at the table we already know one win so we say that they have one win and this is the win this means all other remaining matches are loss matches now belgium lost all the matches so all teams will win a match against belgium okay now this this is done now how do we proceed after this we have just one information left one was obvious thing one information was given and now we are given that spain was not among the top three teams before the tournament right so it is saying that the rank is out of four five six seven eight means it is beyond three okay now if we fill this information whatever information we have gathered thus far so let us count the number of wins Argentina has got. It has got four wins thus far. Four wins for Australia also. So we'll just fill this like this. Australia also we have figured out four wins. Then Belgium one zero. This is two. This is three. This is three. And this is two. Okay. Now it means that these teams have won at least four matches. At least these two are fixed. Okay, these two are done. For them, we know the least number of matches they are winning. Now, Spain is not among the top three teams. So, Spain's rank is 4, 5, 6, 7 or 8. Basically, the numerical value is greater than 3. Okay, so that means wins will be greater than 2. Right, so if rank is numerically greater than 3, wins will be more than 2. It cannot have 2 wins. Because rank 3 will have 2 wins. So it will have greater than 2 wins. Now if we see Spain and Germany, these are the only teams that can have just 2 wins. All other teams have more than 2 wins. So that means that Germany is the team that has just 2 wins. Because Spain's rank is 3 or more, it is more than 3. So it, will, it should win more than 3 matches. 3 or more than 3 matches, but not 2 matches. So this means Germany is rank 3 and it has won only 2 matches. 
So remaining matches of Germany end up in a loss. Now Germany loses, so we shall accordingly feel that all teams will win against Germany. Win, win, win and win. So let us update this numbers now. So Argentina will have 1, 5. This is 4. Okay, where did we put these 3 also? So 4, 4 and 3. Okay. Now we know that a team will win 3 matches. 0 match found, 1 match found, 2 matches found. So 3 matches. So that should be Spain. Because all these teams have won at least 4 matches. So Spain will win 3 matches. We have already filled these 3 wins. So rest of the Spain matches end up in a loss. So that means all teams will win. The remaining teams will win a match against Spain. So win, win and win. So let us increase these numbers. 5, 5 and 6. Okay, so all these teams are one. Now, we have filled all this. Now, one team has to win four matches. Okay, we have filled zero, one, two, three. One team has to win. So, this is the way we will complete the table. So, four matches, if we see, then this could be the only team. Netherlands could be the only team. So, Netherlands is rank five and win four matches. Okay, so four matches, that means rest of the matches are in loss. So, against Netherlands, these teams will win. So, the number of wins become 7 and 6. Okay. 7 wins, that means uh, this is rank 8 and 6 wins, that means rank 7 and this must be uh, rank 6. That is why 5 wins. So, 5 wins, rest of the 2 end up in a loss. Okay. And this is 6 wins. So, this will be a loss. So, Argentina, you will see that it won all the matches and all teams lost against Argentina. So, this is the ranking that we will get of all the teams. Okay. So, now we can answer the questions that uh, which team was ranked 8. So, Argentina was ranked 8 before the tournament. What was India's rank? India's rank is 6. Against which of these teams did Spain win their match? So, Spain won three matches, Belgium, England and Germany. Among these, we are given Germany in the options. So, this is the solution to the set and the answers to the questions. I hope you must have enjoyed solving this set and loved the explanation. So, don't forget to like this video.